What is going on guys, today I have a brand new uh, video on Rainbow Six. Hopefully this will be a weekly episode and I hope you do enjoy. Uh, but the first thing I'm going to say is that uh, I may not have uh, an episode up every week because I, ha I will be back to school in a week and uh, I mightn't have time to play but hopefully I will be able to get them up every week. So as you can see on the screen, um, I'm going to start this new episode called Tips and Tricks. I have a few uh, on my channel already, but this is going to be more advanced. So uh, it's on Chalet, or ch Chalet, I don't know what it's called. But um, uh, these are my own kind of tips and uh, tricks that I found were fairly helpful. So uh, if you don't want to use uh, this, there's no problem. You can play the way you want to play, or even change up what I do a bit. Uh, so the first thing we're going to focus on is the gaming room. Uh, so here, as you can see, there is a murder hole on the uh, near the ground. So uh, I used a shotgun for this, and I wouldn't recommend making holes that big. But what you want to do is make like around a head size murder hole on top, uh, around head size, uh, around head size, yeah. And um, then after that, uh, what will happen is if you have a small enough hole at the bottom. When uh, attackers come in, I mean come in, um, they're going to see the murder holes and uh, they're going to focus on that. But uh, the small holes uh, underneath, that's where you're going to be prone, and then they won't really suspect anything from like uh, underneath it. So um, I know you might not understand what I mean, but uh, it is a good place to hide. And um, yeah, so we're going to move uh, on to the next part, which is defending the gaming room from up top this is where I like to go because the gaming room is actually one of the hardest places to uh, defend because of how many entry points there are and it's directly uh, outside like next to outside the map so if you come over to this window here and uh, hit the corner of the uh, barricade it'll make less noise and it'll be less obvious the hole will be smaller so if you have a shotgun here you can uh, hold off the ladder so nobody can get up there is also a secure area or hostage that is in this room and uh, if you have this point a uh, lock down here you will be able to get a few nice kills uh, there is also a trap door next to that window so uh, I like to shoot that out uh, I'd recommend using a shotgun uh, don't waste C4 on it but you can watch the window and the door and what I also like to do is shoot the uh, barricade on top the first piece of wood on top so you can see if people are coming up to the door. I wouldn't recommend actually shooting out of this because it tends to um, not guarantee you a kill unless you can get a clear headshot, which then, yeah, it's really good. But uh, you, you can get the advantage here. Uh, they will be able to see you if you do open that, so I'd recommend keeping it closed, but I do prefer to have that open. And there's also a window over here. You can use a shotgun and take out this floor here. Uh, I didn't show it very well, uh, so I apologize for that, but you can get a fairly good uh, view on the the uh, window. So, um, next place, I think, is the garage. Uh, I would do the bar, but there is not much in uh, the bar, so there's not much to cover because it's such a small place. So, uh, moving on to the next position, which is the uh, basement. So, um... If you come into the boat room and uh, there is a way to get on top of this boat. So uh, I'd recommend getting a friend to uh, put a shield here because if you do it you won't be able to put it back up. I mean take it down. So um, you want to put it there, walk on top of it and you're going to be on top of the boat. I am going to come back to this in just a minute to show you another spot uh, which is very cheeky. But you can watch the whole room and people will never suspect you to be up here. The corner is also very dark so if you have a, a, a character that's wearing all black he'll blend in very well even though the boat is blue. But as you can see here you have clear sights on all the entry points. So uh, next thing is the stairs. You can actually go next to the stairs and if you go prone you'll be able to kind of uh, glitch half your body into the stairs. So you'll just have your uh, torso peeking around here. So if you have a shotgun again, you can take out people coming down uh, these stairs, which is also very uh, helpful. Uh, the next uh, place that people usually breach from is the garage door. 
So if you hop over uh, the bins, you can actually get next to this spot. It is in such a good spot, but uh, you can get the advantage of taking people out when they try to get to the garage door. Uh, I wouldn't recommend peeking your head out when they blow up the thing. I'd uh, wait till they're actually in the garage because uh, it'll be hard for you to see out at them because the light is brighter. So I'm just going to take down my shield here and go to the next spot, with, spot which is this small room. Uh, there's not much in here. You can hop on top of this place. Uh, people don't really usually look at this spot. They usually look uh, behind it. So it's, as I said, it's not brilliant. Uh, I wouldn't recommend really using it, but you can get a few nice kills here. Uh, you can watch both sides. The box, you can't move, so you can't really get a clear side of view on it. So uh, we're going to move into the wine cellar now. So um, uh, I did try to get on top of the bomb in the wine cellar, which I thought would be a cool thing to do, but you can't. So uh, here now in the wine cellar, there is uh, only one real spot you can go which is inside this little room and um, there is a little uh, cupboard, I guess you could call it, that has wine displayed on it. So what you want to do is come in here and you want to hop on top of it. Uh, go for the corner because you'll just jump over the whole thing if you go from the side. So if you make a murder hole around uh, head height when you're on top of it, you'll have a clear side of view uh, of the door. And this is really good for people uh, to get the advantage. Also here at the side you can shoot murder holes there. I'll show you why in a second. So I'm going to show you the uh, attacker's point of view which uh, as you can see here now it's fairly good. Uh, they won't really expect a murder hole that high up and um, there's also a light there that kind of blocks them from seeing through. If you come over to this wall here uh, they cannot actually see into the room so they won't know if the room's clear and uh, if you do know that people are there you can shoot straight through and get on top of the wine cellar uh, not wine cellar but the cabinet so um there wasn't much in there but uh, i'm going to show you back i'm going to go back to the boat here and i'm going to show you what i meant so you place down the shield again get on top of the toolbox i think it is and then you walk uh, along the shield and now if you get into the corner by the wall and just prone, you will uh, fall through the boat and you will be underneath it. I wouldn't recommend using this for bomb because there is no actual way out after this. Uh, so uh, it is good for a secure area uh, because you will have it contested. But uh, if you're using a shotgun you won't have clear sight of view on a uh, target because you'll need it more ac accurate. accurate. Oh my god, I'm DJ Cali. Uh, but anyway, as you see here... Um, you can shoot the stairs, uh, there's not much you can see, uh, but it is a very nice spot. Uh, even to show your friends, they'll be kind of wondering how you got into there. So uh, we're going to move on to the next spot. Okay, so uh, it's going to be the kitchen. So uh, in the kitchen there are a few nice spots. As you can see here, I put down a shield in between the counter and the uh, island, I guess you can call it. That's what they call it, isn't it? But uh, if you hop on top of the table anyway, and walk on top of the shield, I did fall off, and I'm going to get back up. And now if you go, you can actually hop on top of the fridge, and this is a really nice point of view. Uh, you can watch both doors, again, and uh, the windows here, uh, you can watch those as well. Uh, and then there is not much after that, that is basically it for the kitchen. But uh, you don't need too many people defending because of that window, it is a, it's a bad spot. Uh, so, uh, just shoot out this trapdoor just in case you get overrun or you want to go for the flank. The next spot actually is in this hall. Uh, usually people come from the main door. So if you hide in this uh, bush, you will be kinda camouflaged. Uh, you're not going to be fully camouflaged. But uh, moving into the next spot, well it's not really a spot, but it's a... Uh, it's a drone spot, that's basically it. So what you want to do is throw your drone up here. And uh, you can get a nice point of view from the window. But you can actually smash the window with your drone. And then you can get on top of those wooden uh, wooden barricades or barriers or whatever you want to call them. Um, but uh, you might be wondering what happened to like the bedroom and all that. The files actually got corrupt and, and then I lost them. So... Uh, I would record them again, but uh, the, this video is approaching 10 minutes, and um, it'll be hard to render out. 
But uh, I'm going to leave you with the rest of the gameplay. It's not much. It's just going to be me showing you the drone spot as you see here on top of uh, the wood. And you can watch the whole of upstairs. Uh, I guess this kind of is helpful for the bedroom. If uh, you are wondering how to defend the bedroom, I will put up a separate video if you are interested. But uh, if you did enjoy, uh, please like, subscribe. We also hit 100 subscribers and peace.